Hi everyone, this is Dwayne Dixon and I have put together this video to help guide my fellow music teachers in putting together their concert bass drum stands. First, lay out all your parts to make sure you have everything. For this job, you will need two wrenches. You should also have two curved brackets. You should also have two foot pegs. You should have two silver metal pegs to hold your bass drum to the frame and two black pegs to hold your two foot pegs. You should also have four wheels, one long metal bar, and two T-frame attachments. First, we are going to attach one of the curved bars to one of your T-frames. Make sure you put the end with just one hole into the T-bar. The end of the curved bar where you have four holes at the top is where you will put your silver metal peg to hold the bass drum in place. Remove the screw from your T-bar attachment and slide your curved bar into a slot and then screw back the screw. Make sure you don't put your curved bar in backwards. The curved bar should be going to the outer part of your T-bar attachment. Give me a second to remove the curved bar from the T-bar attachment and replace it in the correct direction. Now let's put together the other curved bar with the T-bar attachment. Make sure the curved bar is curving outwards. Now you are going to connect the two T-bar attachments by using a long straight bar. You'll notice one small hole at the end of the straight bar. Just ignore this hole. If you try screwing the T-bar screw into both the T-bar hole and the straight bar's hole, then connect the two T-bars together, you'll find that the two frame ends won't slide in enough to hold the bass drum in place during the last step of this installation. So just slide the bar into one of the T-bar attachments and tighten the screw to hold the middle bar in place. You will need to use your own judgment to how far to slide the straight bar into the T-bar attachment. When you connect the other T-bar end to the straight middle bar, don't tighten the screw because you will need to be able to easily slide the end bar in and out to make the proper adjustment to hold the bass drum in place. You'll see what I'm talking about later on in this video. Now it's time to add the wheels. 
you will slide the wheels into the four holes located at each end of the T-bar attachment. For this process, you will need to use two wire pliers. You need to use one wire plier to hold the end of the screw and the other wire plier to screw the nut on. Try to screw the nut down as tight as you can. For me personally, I couldn't get the nut to screw all the way down, but I got it down far enough so that the frame will be able to still roll across the floor without coming apart. If you have any ideas on how to tighten the nuts for the wheels all the way on, please leave your suggestions in the comment section of this video. Now let's attach the silver bass drum pig. I put my peg in the first hole at the top of the curved bar. You will put the screw in the first hole and the curvy end of the bass drum peg will go in the second hole. Now it's time to put the foot peg into the bracket. You put the foot pegs into the big holes and then the two small black knobs were screw in on the side into the little holes. The two small black knobs will screw in to the side of the frame. When you step down on the foot pegs, if the bar seems real loose, you can either tighten the screws to the foot attachment or turn one of the foot pegs upside down to give it more support. For this last step, it's easier if you have someone to help you lift the bass drum up and slide the bass drum into the pegs. If you don't have an extra person, I suggest using a chair or a small stool to rest the bass drum. When putting the bass drum on the frame, first loosen the screw on the silver bass drum connectors so you can slide the bass drum onto the pegs. And then carefully pick the bass drum up and slide it into one of the pegs on the end frame and use your foot to kick the other end of the bass drum frame into place so you can lock the two ends of the bass drum onto the pegs. Once you have the bass drum in place, make sure to tighten the last screw on the middle straight bar. So that's how you put the frame to your new bass drum together. If you have any more questions, leave your questions in the comments section below this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you found this video to be helpful, make sure to hit the like button and share this video with others. So until next time, take care and stay blessed.